Today we're going to talk about comparing improper fractions to mixed numbers. If you remember, improper fractions and mixed numbers show the same thing. They are just stated in different formats. But when you are trying to evaluate or compare a mixed number to an improper fraction, it is hard to tell when they are stated two different ways. What we are going to walk through now is how to get the fractions into like formats so that it is easier to compare. Let's look at the first example of 5 and a half compared to 11 thirds. The first thing we want to do is put both of these fractions into the same format. Either we can convert them both to mixed numbers or convert them both to improper fractions. For this first one, let's start by converting 11 thirds to a mixed number. To convert 11 thirds to a mixed number, we first write down our denominator of thirds, as that is our current denominator. Next, we divide 3 into 11, which goes 3 times evenly without a remainder. 3 becomes our whole number, and we have a remainder of 2, as 11 minus 9 equals 2. We put that 2 as our numerator, and we now have a mixed number of 3 and 2 thirds. Comparing 5 and a half to 3 and 2 thirds, we can see that the whole number of 5 is greater than 3, so 5 and a half is greater than 2 thirds. Take the next example of 7 thirds compared to 2 and 1 sixth. For this one, let's convert 2 and 1 sixth to an improper fraction and evaluate. We can convert the mixed number to an improper fraction by putting down our denominator first of 6. Next, we will multiply our denominator by our whole number and get a total of 12. We then add our numerator from our proper fraction of 1, and we get a total of 13. 13 6 is our new improper fraction. We now have both fractions stated as improper fractions, but there is one more step we need to take. We need to make these equivalent to help us determine which one is bigger. We can look at both of our denominators and see that 3 goes into 6, so the easiest thing to do is convert our fraction of 7 thirds to an equivalent fraction using the denominator of 6. 3 goes into 6 twice, so since we multiply 2 times 3 to get a denominator of 6, we will multiply 2 times our numerator of 7 to get 14. Now we can compare the two fractions, and we can see that 14 6 is greater than 13 6. We will look at one more example, and this time we'll convert the mixed number to an improper fraction, and we will use cross multiplication to figure out which fraction is bigger. Which one is larger? 5 and 2 thirds or 35 sixths. We change 5 and 2 thirds to an improper fraction by putting down 3 as our denominator first. We then multiply 3 times our whole number of 5 for a total of 15, and then add our numerator of 2 to get 17. 17 thirds compared to 35 sixths. Remember, we can use cross multiplication and multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction and get a total of 102. We can multiply the numerator of our second fraction by the denominator of our first fraction and get 105. 5 and 2 thirds is less than 35 6. If you want more practice on comparing mixed numbers to improper fractions or on converting mixed numbers to improper fractions, head on over to improvemath.com and check out my additional resources page where you can find more examples with answers. But before you go, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and give me a subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.